So Scott has made the purchase. Put myself there. Okay. Yeehaw! <laughs> Share of Woody. Okay, okay. Share of Woody. Looks very, very cool. Thank you. He's just waiting for his drink now. What have you ordered? Mimosa. Mimosa's at noon. Hi guys. So I've managed to convince Lisa to go snorkeling. Um, I was in there just before, found a, a sleeping stingray and a sea cucumber. So I'm gonna go and show her where those are if I can remember. Um, and see if I can get a picture taken with them as well. I've been demoted to these goggles. Lisa's got the mask. Goggles to get it on. <laughs> Nice and tight. <laughs> Scott's been in helped himself to some food. He's got a plate of nachos there with like cheese and guacamole and his new favourite food, which is? He found it down. <laughs> it's like that salsa stuff. I didn't get anything because I think I'm going to get a piece of cheesecake from the cake shop on the way up to the room later. So I'm going to save myself for that. But yeah, you're enjoying that, aren't you? Uh-huh. Do you want to play the Friends game? So it looks quite good to be fair, so this is just like an example of what it is. You get like a picture from one of the episodes and then it says, the questions are, which season is this? What is the name of the episode? And then you get a question about like the picture, so this one is, why are Ross, Joey, Rachel and Phoebe locked out of Monica and Chandler's apartment? Because they then... Thanksgiving. <laughs> Cut it in there. And then you get the answers on the back. So yeah, I think we're going to have a little, few, a few rounds of this and I think it's going to be quite good actually. Yeah, do you want to answer first or shall I? Me. I like to think I'm a bit of a friend expert, so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> We've got this one. So, I think it's season one, um, and Rachel is upset because Paolo cheated, well, Paolo tried to get with Phoebe, and the name of the episode, I think, is the one with the margaritas or something. It's season one. Yeah. The one with the George Stephanopoulos. Oh no. That's the name of the episode. Rachel's distraught over a friend getting married or promoted as she's serving coffee while the Fika guy takes all their money. Oh, I didn't get that right then. Okay. Oh well. Your turn next. So this is Scott's card. If you want to play along, leave a comment down below and answer the questions. So we're saying season Four. Season four, okay. The name of the episode is the one with the top. Right. <laughs> and his shopping bag gets mixed up with Rachel's. Okay, so let's have a look. So it's season ten, uh. the one with the birth mother. Uh, and the answer three is Rachel. So I got one. And then there's a bonus question. What embarrassing thing occurs so Ross and his date don't even make it to the meal? I don't know. They both wear the same top. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> so that is another day over. We're heading back up to the room now. We're gonna get showered and changed for tonight. But first I am gonna stop off in the little coffee shop thing in the hotel and pick myself up a slice of cheesecake to have while I get ready. Are you going to get anything? Strawberry tart. Strawberry tart. <laughs> so we've come back to the room and we've got a little animal. I'm not quite sure what it's supposed to be. Maybe like a dog or something. And we've got two little chocolates as well. Nice. Gonna sit out on the balcony now though and enjoy this bit of cheesecake. There we go. And we've got Cowboy Scott in the background there as well. The cheesecake here is really, really nice. And we've got a really nice view as well. Scott has taken a liking to having a bubble bath when he comes up from the pool. 
on the beach. Yeah. Has a bath and then a shower and then gets ready. Yeah. Nice and relaxed in there. Mm-hmm. If you got enough bubbles. Yeah. <laughs> so we're all changed and ready for the night. Scott's in a bit of a funny mood tonight. He's in one of his little hyper hyper moods. No, no. Yeah, sure. Mm. And we are heading down for some food now. I think we're going to try the Mexican tonight. Mm -hmm. A Mexicana. Mm. Fancy and some tacos or something like that. So we're going to head Pico there. De Scott's new favourite food. The taste of it though, so refreshing. But then when you eat it and go snorkeling, all you can taste is chopped onion, tomatoes and cilantro in your snorkel mouth. Peace. Uh, so yeah, we're going for some food and then I think it's like the international show tonight is the entertainment. I've got no idea what that is, but we'll, we'll probably head and watch that as well. This is what Scott is wearing tonight. I really like that polo shirt. It's nice actually. Holiday vibes. Yeah. And then we've got the rest of his wardrobe there on the chair. Oh, I was putting my thing in my hand. Look at his tan line as well. Check this one out. Oh, a bit more than we bargained for there, I think. <laughs> Doesn't matter if you're black or white. And then this is what I'm wearing. So this little cord is from Shein. It's just like a crop top and maxi skirt. And yeah, I've got my hair up tonight, earrings and necklace. <laughs> have got our tacos. It's shrimp and fish. They look really good to be fair. Scott has got the same. These probably look like the best ones we've had so far. I'm really excited to eat these. We've got our dessert. Scott has gone for the tras leche cake which is what they made on Bake Off a couple of weeks ago wasn't it? What? So that'll be interesting to try and I've gone for this little chocolate cake. Are you going to give us your verdict on the tras leche? Three milk. That's what, it's, that's what it means. Three milk cake. Is it nice? It's apparently we need to finish off with a tequila shot. I hate tequila. <laughs> that is one big shot. You can do both. Than I expected. That feels good, eh? I felt tired. Now I'm fine. I'm wide awake. today and um, it was really nice up until about like half two-ish and then the sky got really really dark it started thundering started raining and um, so yeah we've kind of not really done much today and apparently the storm is supposed to last right the way through until Thursday night and it's currently Tuesday so hopefully that won't happen and we will actually get some more nice weather but yeah not really been up to much today but tonight we are heading out to Coco Bongos for the night <laughs> so Coco Bongos is like this like show slash nightclub would you call it thing yeah, yeah. In yeah. Cancun. And it's owned by Jim Carrey, isn't it? Correct. So yeah, it's just basically like it's kind of crazy. We have been before. We went the last time that we were in Mexico and we did have a lot of fun, didn't we? Yeah, it was a late one. It was good fun. It so was. Like, so. It was just like there was one point where I like turned my back. I turned back round and Scott was getting tequila poured down his throat. And he also fell down the stairs. So it'll be interesting to see what tonight brings, if it's any repeat of last yeah, time. Well, what the issue was last time is um, 
I had new shoes. Oh yeah, the new shoes. They're too big. Yeah, that's it. They were like these uh, boat shoes. Wasn't anything to do with the amount you drank or anything. So they come off as I was walking down the stairs and then obviously I fell down. Yeah. The tequila, just these two. Someone just like grabbed his head and like pulled him back <laughs> and like started pouring the tequila in. You messed my hair up. Sorry. But yeah, that's where we're heading tonight. I'm not going to take the camera, but I am going to film some bits on my phone. I just don't want to like lose it or for it to get stolen or anything. So I'm going to leave it in the room tonight. Um, but yeah, I will be filming on the phone. We're heading down for some food now. We are going to go to the buffet. And I'm going to get myself some Nutella crepes for pudding because we had them the other night and I've not been able to stop thinking about it. Like, oh, it's just so, so nice. I'm, I'm like craving Nutella. So that's what I'm going to be getting. Uh, do you want to show everyone what you're wearing? Nice shirt here. Very colourful. Got some shorts and my loots. So I shouldn't fall down any stairs in these, hopefully. And then I would like to wear my watch, but I've left it at home because I was rushing um, when I was packing, so. I'm not wearing the outfit that I planned. Um, I was planning on wearing like a little like sparkly top, but I just don't think it's going to work. It's not going to be the most secure. So I've gone for this top instead, which is like, I really like this one actually, and just for like some denim shorts and some sandals. My hair is not cooperating tonight. The humidity is just not my friend, so it looks such a mess. Yeah, we're heading out for some food now, and we'll catch up with you later. what to do today it's currently quarter past nine and um yeah it's just the weather is not looking the best really it's not raining at the moment but it's very very windy and gray and yeah we are due the storm this afternoon aren't we yeah i think we might have a little wander like out the front of the hotel maybe have a look in some shops or something but yeah i think it's gonna be a bit of a boring day really we don't really yeah just not sure what to do but coco bongos was good last night wasn't it yeah it was good we had like a really fun night we got back to the hotel at like half two i think so we weren't too late we did enjoy it but we were saying that we didn't think it was as good as the last time yeah we went. first time is always going to be the best i time. feel like last time there was like more going on kind of wasn't there yeah whereas last night it was sort of like the, you got like a bit of the show and then like half an hour of music and then there was like another something happening um scott managed to not fall downstairs so yeah, got that's a that's a bonus got a photo taken with the mini beetlejuice yeah i'll pop it in here so you can see so we are on our way 
to the shop, just kind of for something to do really. Just gonna see what Mexican snacks we can pick up, aren't we? Yeah. So we found a new monster flavor. We've got no idea what flavor it is, but it's different to what we get in the UK. So we're gonna give it a little try. We also picked up a couple of different crisps as well. So we'll do a little taste test of those when we get back to the hotel, I think. It's not good. You've not tasted it. I can smell it. Taste smell it. it. Taste it. Smell it. Like? Blue raspberry. It smells like Red Bull. Uh, not good. Does it taste like Red Bull? Oh. So from the supermarket, we picked up four different kinds of crisps and some chocolate. I've had this before, but I just kind of fancied it something sweet. So it's Milka Hazelnut. We got some Takis Fuego. Fuego flavor. Fire. We also got some Takis Guacamole flavor. We got Chipotle's crisp. I see. It's like cheese and chorizo maybe. Chipotle. And we've got some nacho flavored Cheetos. Yours. So we're gonna do a little taste test of all of them. And yeah, we'll see what we think. Chipotle queso. Queso. Let's taste this one. Oh wow. Like a fire. Blood. They're like bright red. Hmm. Very nice. They're like Doritos, like the same yeah. sort of yeah. texture. Oh, the it's spice kind of yeah. kicks in <laughs> afterwards. <laughs> They're nice though. Okay, we'll do these ones next. Oh. I think these are going to be hot. Takis Fuego flavour. They're, they're hot and they're, they're like they are. burning up my tongue right now. They're nice at first and then like after you've kind of swallowed it, it definitely kicks in. Mm. They just look like death. <laughs> these are like bright red as well. <laughs> they're not... Holy shit. Holy hell. Too bad. Get it on your tongue. Good aftertaste on that. I think those first ones are way hotter. Do you reckon? Yeah. Are they just tangy them? I feel like they don't really taste like much. Okay. Which one's next? Guacamoles. So, will this be like guacamole flavour, do you think? No, I reckon this is the. Oh, this is the green chili. This is the hot sauce. This should be hot. Are they green? Oh my god. Let me smell. Oh wow. <laughs> so these are the same sort of like crisp as those last ones, just a different flavour. Yeah, right actually. Let me taste another one of these ones. They're nice though. They've got like a little bit of spice, but like they're quite, they're just like a nice. Yeah, right then. On the front, it's got chili, avocado, and is that like a green tomato? Or is that the jalapeno? It's just the chili, yeah. So it's kind of like a guacamole, limey, chili flavour. And then we've got one more left to try. So we've got Cheetos, nacho flavour. These are like Nick Nuts. Oh, these are cheesy. Mmm. I love cheese. They do taste quite cheesy, but they're not like full on cheese. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? These are definitely the more like mellow flavour out of the four that we've got. Um, which ones would you say are your favourite? Those ones. Even though they're the hot ones. Yeah. I would actually probably say that these ones were my favourite. Oh yeah? Yeah, I quite like those. What I mean, about least favourite? These ones don't really taste like too much. Yeah, I'd probably say they're my least favourite as well. These are probably my second favourite. And then, and cheese. And then, yeah, the only other thing that we got is that Milka, but we're not going to try that because we, we've had Milka before. We just kind of thought it would be fun to try some of the different Mexican crisps. And so the rain has started. Probably isn't showing up very well on camera, but it's chucking it down. You can see it sort of like on the glass there. I'm happy to go outside and spend the least as much. 
I'm not being funny, right? But why would I want to go outside when it's chucking it down? It's only half one, so we've kind of still got quite a lot of the day left. And um, they have like board games and stuff in the lobby bar, and I really want to go and play, but Scott doesn't, so not really sure what to do. Come with me in the seat. I'm not coming in. Be nice and warm. It's not being funny, but you need how choppy it is. It's fine. I've been in there this morning. It's a storm. It's not. Storm. What a lovely day in Cancun. It's our last full day today and we finally got some sun. The past few days we've had a bit of a storm so we've kind of not really been able to do much. But we've got some nice sunny hot weather for our last proper day. And yeah, we're obviously really, really happy about it. We've come down to the beach and this is where we're going to be spending the day. I've got myself a little coconut to drink. So I'm going to be working my way through this and I'm also going to be listening to Taylor Swift's new album because she just released it today. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give that a little listen and chill out and catch a last little bit of sun. Are you going for a swim? Uh, I'm taking a funny picture. Oh, who for? People. <laughs> Are you having fun on your last day? You've got two drinks there, haven't you? You've got a beer there and a Bahama Mama down there. Ah, I've got sand in the beer. That's a you. <laughs> Was it my fault? I've been making my way through my book as well. I'm like halfway through and I'm really, really enjoying it actually. It's, um, it's a really, really good book and I'm looking forward to seeing the film when it comes out. It was actually um, quite funny before because we were sitting like just off the back of the pool. So we're on the beach but like right next to the pool. So like the pool is there. And then, yeah, like we're on the beach, so you can kind of hear what's going on at the pool and at the beach. And then on the speakers by the pool, they had Harry Styles playing. And then on the speakers on the beach, they had One Direction playing. It was honestly just like a fantastic three minutes. So we've come back up to the room to get all showered and start getting ready for tonight. This afternoon we nipped through to the hotel next door because they were having a pool party so we thought we would go and have a little look. It's also a real hotel as well so we're able to like go between the two which is quite handy and um, we've not done it up until today but our pool party got cancelled. It was supposed to be on Wednesday but because of the storm they weren't able to have it. But when we heard the music next door we were like right let's just go and have a little look and see what it's like and yeah it was quite good to be fair they had like a lot of good music they had like a foam machine in the pool and loads of balloons and stuff and um, yeah it was it was really really fun it's just a shame that we missed ours but I'm glad that we kind of got to go next door and experience that one <laughs> We have come up to the room quite early today to get changed because we are heading out tonight for a meal like outside of the hotel. We're going to this Thai restaurant. It's literally just called Thai. Um, so that's where we're heading tonight. We've got a reservation there and I'm really, really looking forward to it. The last time we came to Mexico, we also went there and it's honestly just like the nicest restaurant and the food is amazing as well. It's obviously Thai food. But I had a quick look at the menu earlier and it looks like they've started doing some Indian stuff as well. So so bit of a mixture of Thai and Indian um, and yeah if it's as good as what I remember I'm just I'm really really looking forward to it. So we are all changed, all showered and ready to go. Are you excited? Yes. This is what I'm wearing so it's like this maxi dress thing from Old Polly and Scott is in all black tonight, little see-through shirt, black shorts, black shoes. Sick. We're heading off now. The restaurant is like in like a shopping mall. So we're gonna get there like relatively early and just kind of have a little look around the shops and stuff before we eat. We should be able to see the sunset as well, which should be nice.
hat so like all the tables are in these little huts and it's right on the lagoon and we've got a really nice sunset view as well I absolutely love it here it is so nice isn't it um, and yeah this is the menu so we're just kind of ordering and deciding what we're going to do we've got some little cocktails there as well which are really really nice aren't they and yeah it's just such a nice view Scott's going in we're going to try some of the extra spicy sauce Is it spicy? <laughs> <laughs> Regretting this decision instantly. <laughs> got our starters. We've gone for three starters to share just because why not? <laughs> we've got some prawns. These are like tandoori prawns. And then we've got like some chicken tikka. And then we've got some spring rolls over there as well. It literally smells amazing, doesn't it? Smells so so good. He's licking his lips, can't we? <laughs> so we've got our mains. I've gone for this beef curry. I've got no idea what it's called. I can't remember, but it's what I had last time, and it's honestly like the nicest curry I've ever had. So I'm looking forward to that. And Scott has got a Thai green curry over here. So we didn't end up getting dessert at the restaurant because. The buffet here at night time does these Nutella crepes and we've kind of been a bit obsessed with them very since nice. we've been here. Like every day we look forward to having them so we're like we'll skip on dessert here and we'll get it back at the hotel. Um, and we got back to the hotel and today is the only day that they've not had the Nutella crepes and it was our last chance to get them as well because it's our last night. The thing was is we know the dessert in Thailand is very, very yeah, nice. Yeah, exactly. It's fried, well, it's fried ice it's like, cream. Yeah, it's like a fried ice cream bowl. But we're like, we'd rather have the Nutella crepes and they didn't have them tonight. Yeah. It's typical. But it was really nice anyways. The food was really, really good, wasn't it? It was a nice little night. Good, good food. It's definitely like, if you're coming to Mexico and you want to have like a nice meal out, I would definitely recommend having a look. Like it's, it's a really nice restaurant. Well, we just come back to the hotel and we've been watching the show tonight, the entertainment. Oh and, yeah, um, and what happened? We, there was a proposal. Two guys got engaged on the stage and then there was also two weddings. So they came onto the stage. A lot going on for our last night. So our holiday has come to an end. We are flying home today. It's currently like half one-ish and we're getting picked up from the hotel at five past three. So we're just packing up like the last little bits of our stuff and then we're gonna get some lunch and then head off to the airport. It's gone so, so quickly, but I feel like holidays always go really, really quickly. Have you had a nice time? A great time, thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, this morning we just kind of went by the pool for a couple of hours to get a last little bit of sun. Scott joined in on the water polo, didn't you? Yes. And he nearly drowned someone. Uh, also Trying to, he was getting a bit else? rough, getting a bit into it. What else did I do? Uh, you oh, played water volleyball. Oh yeah, water volleyball. Been very active this morning. <laughs> But yeah, we're just kind of finishing off in the room. But the sea looks really, really nice today. Like it's proper blue. Don't know how well it's showing up on camera, but like this bit over here, it is so turquoise. So nice. I'm gonna miss this view. 